one. With two weeks of clouds, the telescope has been undercover. Will tonight be different? Above, the sky is blue in most directions. However, there's another thunderstorm right over there. Well, stick around for Heavenly Backyard Astronomy and see if the telescope gets uncovered. And you're just in time for dinner. Look what's on the grill tonight. I'm barbecuing some chicken, and it's looking really, really good for tonight. So I'm in high expectation that things are going to get done tonight. And if I look at the sky above, through the smoke, well, you can see a lot of blue out there this afternoon. However, let's swing around. I'm looking to the south. And now I'm swinging around looking to the east. And then I'm going to swing around, and over there, above that holly tree, that's a thunderstorm. However, it is moving away from me. So I am hoping that the dry, clear weather that's in this direction here will be moving into my area for tonight. The object tonight, the Cocoon Nebula. Watch this. Get their attention. joys of astrophotography is this time of the evening going from daylight through twilight into the darkness is the anticipation will I get what I'm asked uh, what I'm after or will it fail or will it be a success time will tell now the camera I'm going to be using tonight is the Altair Hypercam 294 C the uh, one shot color Pro TEC, Thermal Electrically Cooled Camera. Uh, this camera will uh, uh, be the workforce behind the imagery for tonight. Now what I'm going to do is take the filter that I had on it, a uh, uh, light pollution filter of a uh, different type. I'm going to put this new filter on that I just got from Altair. It's the Altair Astro uh, Quad Band One Shot Color Filter for the 2 inch and this is the two inch adapter and supposedly this filter will give me a much better view of the uh, sky because it's, it's, it's designed for moderate light pollution areas and I'm at a Bortle 6.5 so I consider that as a moderate light pollution area they have a, uh, a high pollution uh, high light pollution filter for uh, those areas this is the quad 4 I'm going to give it my first light for tonight Get out of the case. If I can get the case open. Uh oh, wrong side. Here we go. There is the filter. And I'm just going to screw it on. And then this goes into the telescope. There is the first frame of the Cocoon Nebula. There it is down here. What I'm trying to do is get this vein to show up. And there you can see the stars to the left and stars to the right and the nebula to the bottom portion of this picture. This is picture number one of 40. I'm doing 180 seconds or three minute exposures. And with the um, 294C, the Altair 294C, uh, the gains are different from other cameras. This one's set at 10,000. Probably a thousand on other cameras. Let's check my guidance here. Uh, the guiding is, seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, that line is pretty flat. And you notice I got this on a very tight scale um, from a, a minus two to plus two. 
Uh, we're not seeing much deviation, so I, I got some good tracking going on, good guidance. Uh, and uh, let's, let's take a look at the position of the scope. And there you can see on the uh, uh, Celestron PWI software, uh, almost looking straight up overhead now. Uh, there you can see the target right there. Uh, that's the Cocoon Nebula. And uh, haven't crossed the uh, meridian yet, but uh, it's time for me to call it call it a night. So I'm going to stop the... Uh, now here's my deep sky stacker. This is version 4.2.2 uh, and it's ready to start stacking so let her rip. Let's see. Registered check pictures and everything is loaded. I got the uh, darks, flats, and the biases and ready to roll. And there we go. This is going to take a while. All right, it's finally finished. It's saving the product right now and uh, soon to display. Loading picture and here comes the display. Now anytime you're in um, Deep Sky Stacker it looks like that when you first come out but what you have to do is move these uh, light values into the curvy area here and then hit apply and you get a decent picture. Now this is not the final picture itself. This is the final picture for Deep Sky Stacker but we want to uh, uh, add more information and that's coming in from PixInsight and from Photoshop. Okay, here we are in uh, PixInsight. Let's load in the file and open. And it's the uh, Cocoon. It should be in here. Auto number 5, auto save 5. Now, when you first stretch this um, using these one shot color cameras, you're going to have a green uh, factor involved. And uh, so let's stretch it and uh, stretching stretching there it is if I stretch it you'll see it's going to be green oh, but there's the nebula down there now let's uh, take the green out nice little process here in um, fix in sight automatic background and we're going to take the subtraction right here and then apply and it's going to go back to the dark color and I'll have to stretch it again okay stretching it and there it is I got this I don't know what this is over here in the upper right hand corner, but anyway, I can uh, take it out just a little bit by darkening the rest of the picture. And, and there you have somewhat of a, a value in um, PixInsight. I, I, I always save it as a 16 bit unsigned integer. Say OK. It's saved. I can put this down now. And then I can open up Photoshop to do the final clearing of the picture and there's some of the pictures I had in the uh, I already did. Uh, here's another uh, the full shot right here the Cocoon Nebula. So there you have it. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching and unless you need rain, clear skies.